Hey what's up guys my name is Lapi. On this video I'm gonna show you the real steps you have to take in order to get better FPS on this game. So please follow the steps of this video so you can have better FPS on Fortnite on this new season. Alright so Fortnite we're not gonna do nothing. I'm just gonna explain something real quick. Put performance mode and put everything on low including the lowest resolution you can put if you don't have a good PC. My PC is medium and so i have 1920 1880 240 hertz so i have my fps cap at 240 and everything on low because i don't need nothing of this on happy doesn't really make any difference once you do that just save and once you save just close the game Alrighty, so in the description of this video we're gonna have a pack that you're gonna download don't worry i'm not gonna put any type of ad to my website just download the app so you can see we have seven steps you have to take in order to get better fps so let's start from the beginning all first is an app that you have to use to put your resolutions with only like two click what you need to do is first of all open the app and as you can see here what you're gonna do is select the resolution you like i recommend you to put lower resolution than your main monitor because that will boost your fps a lot for example i'm gonna put i don't know 1600 by 900 it's like a medium end resolution that will help you boosting your fps once you do that just click on apply and the resolution will be saved in your fortnite files that means that once you go back to Fortnite, you're gonna have this resolution it's actually really useful if you know how to use it i just explain you so try to put the best resolution you want now let's go to batch optimization for this what you need to do is only activate all of them this will not install nothing weird on your pc this what it's gonna do is like clean the kachi delete the log files which is every time you log into your pc delete the temporary files and this is for the red double click on it that's it double click on it it's gonna delete now let's go to temporary files that's it and for the last one this is just really simple once it's finished just click on that set. then let's go back to fortnite priority this is one of the best tools you need to use in order to get the maximum performance of your fortnite what you need to do is only activate the high performance or high priority on fortnite which is this file double click on it and after you double click on it just click on yes well basically this will uh, add more performance to fortnite the performance of your pc of course so basically on the tax manager anytime that fortnite is open will use more performance than every single app that is open so basically it's that and once you do that what you're gonna do is just come back go to fortnite input delay but um, before we go ahead remember that if you don't like this option you can just go ahead and put fortnite normal priority and you will go back to normal you don't need to worry about if you are using another tools or another programs while you're playing fortnite because if this affects your performance on your PC in general, you can just turn back to Fortnite normal priority. Now let's go to input delay. On this, what you need to do is just like optimize your keyboard, which is like regular files. I have already this active, but I'm gonna show you what you need to do. Just click on keyboard optimization, click on yes. After that, just click on yes and okay, that's it. You need to do the same for mouse optimization. Click on yes and accept, that's it. It's pretty much everything. You don't need to do nothing else. As you can see, it's the same file, so you don't need to worry now let's go to input reducer this is just like a tweak as you can see here's the credit of the guy who made this tweak just double click on it click on yes after that just click on yes and accept now let's go to power plants open power plants and as you can see you're gonna have the direct access to the power plants what you need to do here is only make sure to be on high performance or as you can see on spanish is alto rendimiento but you have to put high performance and that's gonna increase your fps a lot because it will improve their performance basically then let's go to registry options you need to activate all of them just double click on it click on yes and accept and once we finish, let's go back and let's go to timer resolution. This will help you with the input delay. First of all, open your timer resolution and just make sure that your current resolution is 1000. If you click on maximum and it's not 500, and if you click on default, it's not 1000. It means that you don't have the right input delay. So what you need to do is use the commands that's going to be on the same folder. And now you need to open the command prompt remember before we open the command prompt you need to open this as an administrator if you don't open this as an administrator it's not gonna work so now let's put the comments so you can see it's working properly now so let's put them all once you finish with this and you restart your pc most likely you're gonna have the timer solution correctly so please once you finish with this we're gonna go to the last step that in my opinion is the best so for the last apps we're gonna use no ping no ping in my opinion is one of the best tools if you want to get better input delay better fps and also better ping this actually only improve your ping but it has like a tool that can help you a lot with fps also now that i moved to usa my ping went down really really crazy and i used to have 60 and now i choose to play on 20 basically it's really really useful it worked with a bunch of games including fortnite minecraft 
you know, a lot of games that can help you with the input delay, including Roblox. That is really impressive. First of all, find the game that you want to play on. In this case, we're going to play Fortnite. So select the server. As you can see here, now it's load. And what we need to do is find our best server. As you can see, our best servers is between United States Central and East. Of course, we play on East. So we're going to select one of those. We have Washington 1, 5, blah, 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 blah. So we're going to select the first one and click on optimize this game. As you can see here, uh, we need to wait a little bit remember i told you to close the game this is because this will affect the server so please make sure to close the game in order to this make changes and once it's connect you're gonna see here the bottom to disconnect it's not gonna give it any stacks because we're not playing right now so what we're gonna do is play fortnite but after that make sure to go to the square here and what you need to do is push the fps with this bottom as you can see we have a bunch of settings that will help you improve your fps so please use it because they are really really useful in my case i'm gonna activate all them all and if you want this to run correctly please restart your pc all right so i'm here as you can see i activate all of them we're just about to play fortnite and that's pretty much everything with the app i recommend you to go to the link in the description use my link if you want to get seven days for free remember you have seven days for free so if you want to improve your fps and ping go ahead and tell that no p we here we are as you can see we have this resolution this uh most likely everything but with better fps so what i'm gonna do is just test on creative real quick to see how many pin we have and also fps and just to let you know our server right now is supposed to be 44 but with the apps 100 percent sure it will go really really down all right so as you can see our pin is 25 it's and it's like all the time 25 24 it's not gonna go higher than 25 as you can see our pin is supposed to be 44 but we have 27 25 27 and as you can see here it show us that it's optimized which is good as you can see here the pin that we're supposed to have is 42 but thanks to no pin we having 26 which is crazy all right as you can see 22 oh my god imagine to have zero that would be crazy and trust me i use this up often it's not like something that i just do for fun i actually use often because it helped me a lot and i really 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 need to have better pin of course if i want to improve on competitive and talking about fps as you can see 240 like all the time and if i put uh unlimited we have almost 400 i mean it's not gonna make a difference because if i use 1920 by it's gonna be the same amount of fps as you can see 450 looking at the water and if i put 1920 by it's the same amount my cam is the same because my cpu and gpu size is literally the same because i'm using a rtx 4060 so it's not gonna make a lot of difference about the fps i'm not pretty sure maybe on your pc it could be different but that's pretty much everything guys so if you like this video please don't forget to like and subscribe hope you like this video and i see you soon bye bye